All right, thank you, Kyle. The Bill Klinger Trail in Quincy is one step closer to completion. And that's all thanks to the Terry Anastas Tour to Quincy fundraiser that helped out earlier this month. WGM's Claire Edland talked with locals who frequent the trail to hear about their excitement and officials on the future of the trail that's been in development since the 90s. This group of bikers meet every Sunday on the riverfront to cycle over 20 miles through Adams County. And right on their route is the Bill Klingner Trail. It's one of the best, has lovely scenery, has creeks for the kids to play in. And uh, you see people of all, doing all sports, walking, jogging. They say they've been watching it come together piece by piece throughout the years. I think it's great. I, I, I look forward to it. Make, make a full loop all the way around. I don't know if I'll live long enough for that to happen. Luckily for them, they could soon have a more bike-friendly route as early as next year. Our major fundraiser is the Terry Nassus Ultimate Ride, and we just finished that here on July 13th. Great success. We had a goal for that one was 24000 We made over 34000 Mike Klingner, the son of Bill Klingner, says that money raised will help carry forth his father's uh, legacy to close the loop. He says through community support, they're getting there one step at a time. The next phase will extend the trail from Bob Bangert Park to Lincoln Park. Next step is make sure, confirm that we have the right of way from the, sure. from the railroad. It's an abandoned railroad section, so. Klingner says after that, it could take anywhere from six months to a year to get it all constructed. Claire Edland, WGEM News, Quincy. And Klinger says they eventually want to tie some of the schools and the Amtrak station into the trail. Well, starting Monday.